once again today we do have iphone which is the iphone 7 which is being on the passcode or iphone unavailable also known as iphone disabled so on this tutorial we're going to use the tool called the frp ram disk which we are going to use to remove the passcode or disable screen so first you have to power off your device and get your device into recovery mode so this method is only used only when you forgot your passcode and also your apple id when your device is being turned uh, find my phone is being turned on on your device so let's put a device into recovery mode and also if you do know how to put a device in pan bf you you can do it so now let's connect to our computer right over here and before you do extract the files right over here make sure to turn off red time protection so the download link for this tool will be in the description of this video so always make sure to check the description of this video so move to settings then update and security we click on update and security then update and security options we go in for windows security so you will be able to turn on red time protection off so now let's move to virus and threat protection move on move on and then under virus and threat protection click on manage settings then make sure your red time protection is being turned off so after removing the lock or passcode bypassing then you enable the red time protection once again so now let's launch the tool and wait for the tool to open so now now that, now that the tool is being opened boot from dfu ram disk click on boot from dfu ram disk so now wait for it to detect your device so now our device is being detected in recovery mode so we need to follow this these simple steps to put our device into the fu so first let, let's click on the start button so if you do have the iphone 6 6 6 x and 6 x plus which has the home key you need to use the you have to use the home key plus the side key so now let's put the device into let's put the device into dfu mode for us to be able to boot, boot into pan dfu now let's click on start and then follow the instructions so let's keep holding the keys and now when the first countdown release the power key keep holding the volume down or if yours is home key keep holding the home key to the device is being detected in the dfu so if you get it into dfu the screen should be black it should be getting a black screen so now let's click on next and wait for the device to be booted into pan dfu so if your device is not registered you will be prompt here that your device is not registered your ecid is not registered so all you have to do is to copy your ecid then send it to me on whatsapp and as well as the payment so i will be able to register your device so the device is built in and let's wait for the device so if your device is not registered you will not be able to proceed further so you have to register your ecid and the price is 10 usd per device so that's it so make sure to contact me so that i will get your serial ecid registered and the FU done so the next step is to boot ram disk so it depends on your os version so here yeah, i do have the ios 15 so i'll be going in for the ios 15 so click on it and then it will start downloading so i'll be fast forwarding this part also so after downloading it will start sending the ram disk files to your device so you do see the frp logo on your screen so booting ram this done successfully so the third step that we are going in for is the backup passcode or disable screen so we are going to back up the activation file for us to be able to 
to activate the device so let me fast forward the backup procedure okay so our backup part is done successfully in zip format so you have to keep this file that's the activation record so you have to keep this files and also check the fair play and see if you do have the necessary file then we all fair play so the ic info.sisv so also check for the activation record so all files are intact so now let's erase the device so this option you can use the 3u2 to flash your device or restore your device so here yeah, i'm using the erase option in the frp ram disk so let me fast forward the procedure and after erasing or restoring your device we will proceed to the last steps so if your device is not registered as i said please dm me so i'll leave the link in the description and also pin it in the comment section as well so now your device will begin rest restoring to default or factory erase so now done so let's wait for the device to boot up okay so now the device is done resetting so let's proceed to the next step so here let's set our device and we'll be stuck on the activation lock screen so let me show you real quick that the device has been on the activation lock screen so we are going to use the backup files to activate the device so here we do have it our device is on the activation lock screen or iphone lock to owner so let's power up the device and put it, it into recovery mode as we did in the first step so now let's put the device into recovery mode and then launch the frp file ram disk okay so we do have the FRP RAM DX2 version 2.6.1 being launched so all we are going to do is to follow the first steps that we use to back up our activation records so let's proceed with the same steps so I'll be fast forwarding this part oh so almost done and our device is now in the PANDFU mode so this next step is to boot RAM DX so let's choose ios 15 since the device is ios 15 I'll choose ios 15 so we wait for the ram disk also to be finished and then we will be able to activate the device okay so booting ram disk also done so the last option for us to go in for x to activate passcode or disable option so when the moment you click on activate passcode disable the backup files will be uploaded to the device so let's wait for the backup files to be uploaded to our device so in progress so done so all we have to do is to wait for the device to be restart or rebooted so let's wait for the device to be rebooted and here are the instructions to successfully bypass our device so here are the instructions to get everything working on our device to put our device to sign in into our iCloud and also open FaceTime and then after that we will reboot our device so after that we have our device being rebooted and you can insert SIM card into the phone and receive all make calls and also notification you will be able to receive notification on your device so regarding the payment option make sure to dm me i'll leave the link in the description as well as the download link for the frp ram days too so thanks for watching make sure to subscribe and also get a useful content like this thanks for watching peace